Hi, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Jenny and I'm a thrifter, have been all my life, but now I'm reselling my items in a booth in my hometown. And I'm gonna show you the items I just picked up on a very recent haul. In fact, these are items I just picked up this morning. And um, I might come across a little frazzle because I have a lot going on in the next couple of days. So let's get to it. Let me show you what I picked up. Um, let's go with the auction items first so this auction you kind of bid on a lot of items and or sometimes they're single items like for example i have this i picked up this um really cute i guess it's a plate rack uh, it has a rooster little medallion it fell up on this side but they do they did have it but i'm almost thinking i'm going to try to pop this out because in my booth even though we're a very rural um, community and I'm kind of shocked with this too with all the like modern farmhouse and modern farmhouse house kitchens I have a lot of rooster items and hardly any of them are selling so I mean me personally if I had a modern farmhouse kitchen my style would be to decorate it with not so modern farmhouse items but that's just my style everyone has their own personal tastes and preferences so um this, if I can pop this out of here, I might actually keep it for myself. I collect ironstone. In fact, see my plates right here? I have this really great like staggered plate rack. I got it on Amazon, but it's new. So the idea of displaying them in something like this, I love. It's just that I love how it's staggered so you can see all the different patterns and crazing of the ironstone plates that I've collected. So we'll see about this. Um, we're also in the process of like tearing down walls in my first floor and combining your rooms. So right now, when it comes to my own home, I'm not that interested in decorating because I could get things just right. I'm gonna have to pack it all up because um, it's gonna be a major renovation. So um, that was one item and um, some, I, I gotta find a place to put this. I've got stuff everywhere. Um, <laughs> I picked up a couple things. You probably wouldn't expect these um, albums. <laughs> these are actually $5 for all three of these. Uh, my son loves his record player. He loves 80s music. In fact, we went and saw, um, which, where is it? Poison together a couple of years ago. David Lee Roth and Queen. So he was excited about these. And, you know, for $5, even if he only liked one, it was still a really good deal. So um, not my normal wheelhouse, but something I picked up nonetheless. And no one else bid on these. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> To explain the lots, so the lots, you get these little thumbnails and you can kind of see items and you might not. And sometimes they group strange things. Like I wouldn't necessarily put these things together. And so your eye might be drawn to one item and then you get it home and you're like, oh, I didn't realize that was in there. And it's not necessarily all a bad thing. But the, for example, this was, I'm going to show you this. This was one lot. First of all, the basket, which I love this basket. It's a great wonky basket. I might um, hold on to it myself. This would be great with magazines underneath my coffee table. And um, I'm not in a rush to see if it's gonna sell in my booth. I, You know, if you love it, hold on to it. Cause once it's gone, you can't get it back. So um, what I was really interested in, in this um, lot is my town has for the past 48 years had an amazing old car show. In fact, it had already have happened by the time this is filmed. But I found this great um, jalopy planter and I started researching it and I'm pretty sure it's a McCoy, which was um, like a great surprise. So I wanted a few like um, vintage car themed items in my booth because um, it, this event just draws thousands of people in. So if you can't make it this year, look it up, Vicksburg Old Car Festival. Um, like I said, been going on for 48 years, so it's ran well. Um, Organizers are great. They're very big um, community supporters. So I was excited that that was in the basket of items. And then, like I said, rooster things aren't selling well. And this was in the lot. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked this up by itself. But it's a Royal Copley rooster and corn planter. I mean, it's cute. It's in great shape. I mean, I love the colors, but just not selling. So I'm actually going to go in and like do a booth overhaul here in the next couple of days. In fact, I think I have to do it Thursday. So um, I might just pack all the rooster stuff up and I don't know, maybe in fall it'll sell, I don't know. And then 
this item, like I said, it's, it's such a weird, like, how they put things together. I'm not mad at it. It's just kind of a weird, um, I don't know if this is studio art, this vase, this very flat, thin vase. I mean, it's kind of a cool shape. Um, the top isn't, like, perfectly formed, so I don't think, I don't, I, don't, I just can't tell. And I really can't tell because someone painted the bottom. So if there is a signature on here, I'll never know. <laughs> and funny story, so I Google image searched this to see if maybe this was something, um, you know, this was by an artist or someone known. And when I Google image, image searched it, it told me it was a dustpan. This is not a dustpan. Don't always believe what you see on Google image search, especially when it comes to like pricing items, you've got to do more research than just Google image search, but that's, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Not a dustpan. Let me set this aside real quick. Excuse my reach. Oh, nothing broke, no, no chickens were harmed. Um, gosh, where to go next? I have stuff like just everywhere around me. Let's go to garage sale. I stopped at a garage sale. I don't film garage sales. I'm just not comfortable filming garage sales. You know, those are people's personal spaces. So this little garage sale, I felt so bad. There was an, like, not elderly man, because I could be considered elderly, but this older man, and he said, like, people in his family just dropped off items. They didn't price them. So I went to him with, like, a little stack of items, and he gave me a price, and I said, that's, that's fair. So this, I love this. This is heavy. We just put um, three new gardens in my back and I'm trying to put, we just had like giant bushes and now I'm putting like colorful plants and I wanna put some little like, what do they call it? Objects to art, interesting items <laughs> in my little planting beds. And I found this little, I mean, this is nice heavy and I love what it says. Um, gardening is not just another day at the plant. So this I'm keeping for myself for sure because I love it. I'm gonna put it in just as it, as it is. There's Love the patina, I mean, it's faux patina, but, um, oh, I was trying to see what it says on the back, but I can't read that. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping this for myself. I just love the windblown sunshine. And then I found these little items at his garage sale. So if you don't know much about me, if you go back to one of my videos called um, Thrifting in a Resort Town, I have a small camper and you can see what the camper looks like in that video but this is why my week is so hectic i'm actually selling my camper i'm not leaving south haven for um, the summer but a man across the way so we have two sections of our campground they actually allow dogs in the section where like a, a, a trailer not like a camper but a trailer came up for sale and i called my husband and i love my husband to death he's just the best guy like any crazy idea he i have he just supports so um there was a tra uh, trailer for sale and on this side you can have a dog and so in the three years i've had this camper my husband and i've only been able to spend like three nights together because we have to find a dog sitter so now my husband can come out and enjoy the camper that he's paid for or the trailer that he's paid for but this needs a little work so let me know are, are you curious like should i film um, as I'm remodeling and redecorating the trailer, it probably won't happen till later in the season because with all the work we're doing here, my husband said you can't spend any money on the new place in South Haven for a while, which, okay, I have to agree with. We are spending a lot. But anyway, oh my gosh, where did I go just now? Anyway, at this garage sale, I found these two little cute vintage bathing suit um, pieces of art and I'm gonna put in my booth. And if they don't sell in my booth, you know, maybe that's an inspiration jump off point for like my bathroom remodel. Um, I don't know, do you do that? Do you ever find like just something that you love and then that's the inspiration for an entire room? That's basically how I decorate and then, you know, then fill it with other items that um, fill my, my life with joy, it makes my heart happy. So we'll see about those, but that was from the garage sale. And um, I bought some, uh, oh gosh, some frame, I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna skip around. I bought a bunch of frames. So one reason I'm really frantic and I'm probably talking a million miles an hour is with this car show that brings in thousands of people, I wanted some car themed items. And I've just been so like phonetic, not phonetic, whatever the word is, crazy with things. 
I totally forgot that I ordered a bunch of like vintage car theme and garage themed postcards that I was gonna frame. And they came in the mail yesterday and I was like, ding, ding, ding. I have been supposed, I've been, I was in my mind to start picking up four by six frames for these postcards. So I would have some like car themed items during this show. And I totally forgot and they came in yesterday. So this morning, one of my goals was to find um, frames with four by six openings. And so between the garage sale and Goodwill, I actually have to pick this up. I have a huge basket. You know, it's funny how you can manifest things to work out. I got this huge basket of, I'll be right back, of frames. So I wasn't really thinking about this. But I found all of these frames with multi openings, all four by six. They all need work. I mean, right now they look kind of underwhelming. They all need a little work, but yeah, here's another one. So four, um, four by six opening frames. So yeah, I need to get working on these. It's, I'm filming this on a Tuesday and we do a restock of the booth like Thursday afternoon, so I need to paint them. I gotta put this down. Um, shellac them or polyurethane them. I always like to give them a protective coating. So yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm a little overwhelmed because totally forgot that I had <laughs> ordered these postcards. And then I also have some like other like vintage car art and I was looking for eight by 10 um, frames and this was the only one I found and this was actually at the garage sale. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful photo. It's of Mackinac Bridge. Very common thing here in Michigan. If you've ever been to the UP, um, you know a lot of people when you say you're from Michigan, they always think just Detroit. Well, there's a lot of Michigan outside of Detroit. But um, also I, between the garage sale and Goodwill, I got a bunch of, I have some like five by seven art as well. So I'm not gonna get into detail, but I picked up like a bunch of these frames. So, and then I had some in my stash. So I think I've got like 20 frames <laughs> that I need to get painted. And I don't know, maybe I'm too picky because I just don't like throw paint on the frames. I mean, I clean them, I clean the glass. I just kind of like, don't do like just all black spray paint. I do different, finishes and whatever. So yeah, so when I'm done with this, I'm heading out, to, I'm changing my clothes and heading out to the garage. So let me put these down. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> this was sitting over here. So in this um, lot that had the McCoy planner and the basket, because I, sometimes there's no rhyme and reason to what's in the lots, but I'm not mad at it, is this, Williamsburg Reproduction Gingerbread Man, very ornate, Gingerbread Man Mold. So I'll hold on to this to Christmas, but man, whoever can decorate this with all the details, I am I am jealous that you would have that talent. But yeah, that's, that's a great piece. So, you know, people don't, ooh, it does need to be cleaned. I think someone might have actually used it. it looks like there's a little leftover batter, but I wash everything. I give everything a good good soaking and cleaning. Even my frames, I have a whole technique for cleaning frames. So what else? I'm just looking around. Um, the auction house, I have a man theme bathroom. I know it's not probably politically correct, but it's my husband's bathroom. He uses it, it makes for a very happy marriage. I just go in there and clean it and um, make sure he's got toilet paper. But I found this great enamel, his, hers sign. I'm gonna take the rope off, it's way too much. But I'm gonna hang this up on the wall and in his bathroom, in my man theme bathroom. Uh, da, da, da. So the camper that we're buying, or the trailer that we're buying, there's like a little peninsula, and even though my husband said, you can't spend any money on this, I hope he's not mad at this, because I wasn't mad when I found these, but I found, you're gonna think, what the heck is this? I found two stools. For $2.29 each, and I love that they haven't been put together yet because they're dirty, they're nasty, I want to repaint them. So whoever didn't put them together saved me a heck of a lot of time. It's so much easier to refinish items 
um, when they're apart, you know, when you don't have to tape things off or um, basically I'm just gonna find a cute color. I kind of know what I want to do out there in the trailer, but yeah, I, I, honey, I'm sorry I spent $5 on the new places, <laughs> but I couldn't turn down two stools. I mean, practically brand new. Look at like all the extra hardware and everything is still in its packaging. So um, I'll get to those pieces eventually. Oh, something else I found at Goodwill. We have a whole group of friends that we um, hang out with on a, reg a regular basis. We go um, up to Pentwater together once a year. I mean, we get together probably once a month. And one of the parties that we had was a, um, for New Year's, we did a fondue party and we ran out of like fondue for pokers. So every time I'm out and about, I always pick them up for our group. So yeah, like a group of, there's gotta be 10 here for like $2. So, um, and I, I love the retro colors. So I think I'm up to about 25, 30. So my friend group better appreciate me. I'm thinking of you. Um, what else? Oh, Goodwill. Look at this amazing piece of, um, this print. This great, oh, I just, sorry, I just lost my Band-Aid. I slammed my finger into something. I'm always doing something stupid. But found this great, look how big this is, Vogue print. And, you know, this was professionally framed. And although I'm someone that is all in about making frames over, this one, I love, actually love that it's beat up, that it's not perfect. So um, I have some like items that I've picked up that are, let's say they're like, I don't know, fashionista, but I have some cute little items like that. One's actually, I picked up from the Goodwill bins. This is this is wrong, but it's tongue in cheek. If, if you have a sense of humor, you'll appreciate it. But it's like an old book, and you know, sometimes you look back at these books and they're just funny now. But this book is something about how to dress slender, which, <laughs> It, okay, it's funny, but so I just thought like that book and maybe some other items in a little vignette with this. I mean, this just anchors that whole that whole vignette that I see in my head. It's funny how I see these things in my head. I and then um, like I said, you just manifest it, and other items kind of come together. Um, Goodwill. I also found. Oh my gosh, this was on an end cap, and I couldn't believe it's been sitting there. Well, this has been here for probably a couple of hours. So this is Empire Wear, Empire Wear Tureen. Um, it's in great shape. There are no chips. I love, you know, I've, I've been picking up, we'll wait till you see what I got next. I've been picking up a lot of blue and white patterned pieces, um, a lot of vintage blue and white, and I love them. And I'm putting them in my booth, but I'm almost thinking, because I have to pack everything up in my kitchen when we remodel, Maybe it's time to like do something new. I've got, oh my gosh, a lot of my pieces are I've had since like for 20 years. So maybe it's time to do something new with some old stuff. And I, like I said, I, I love the blue and white. What I love about this is, this isn't your thing. That's okay, it's my thing. I love the crazing. That is great. So yeah, great. Um, like I said, it's a empire wear little serving terrain. All right, so I have another big batch of items. I'm just looking around, making sure I got everything. Okay, here's one thing. I got, <laughs> Goodwill, I got contact paper. It matches my dress, but <laughs> you know, a dollar for contact paper. You always need contact paper. This is actually great for um, um, project pieces when you don't want to tape off like a huge area to use just contact paper, especially because it's got the grid. So it's really easy to cut. So, you know, for a dollar, it's great to have some contact paper for whatever reason. Pick up contact paper. You'll, you'll know you need it when you need it. So, all right, let's get to this lot. I was so excited about this lot. I was for sure there's going to be a bidding war on this lot because I fell in love with it. And lo and behold, I think I was the only one that bid on it. So I got to arrange, rearrange things. I'm mean, doing this big build up. I hope you're not like disappointed when I show it to you. So um, it's a giant box, or it was a big box of blue and white, um, all different patterned items like this vintage flower frog. This is one of the items. This is great, no chips. 
Um, <laughs> what I do like about this, of course it says not for food use because I don't know, what do you, what do you eat out here? Like raw spaghetti or asparagus? I don't know, but anyway, I love <laughs> how much detail they put into the fact that, um, you know, not for food use and then all the information. For some reason, I just, I, I like the stamp on the bottom. I don't know why, it just, it does it for me. So yeah, I just thought that was a beautiful little flower frog. And then another piece, um, this is why I always like, don't believe everything you see on Google image search. So I saw this plate, a couple other people had listed this and they said it was um, vintage, uh, it's a France piece, Ar 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 Arcopel, Arco Arcopel. Anyway, they have it listed as a vintage piece. And that I have to question, unless this is a reproduction, because let me show you the marking on the back. To me, let's see if I can focus it. To me, I don't know, this marking, I don't know if you can see it. This marking, there, oh, there, closer you get, the better it looks. Just doesn't look vintage to me. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I mean, maybe this marking was just using a font and style way before it's time, but um, that's, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Abraham Lincoln said that, by the way. Get it? Um, I'm pretty sure this is a blue willow piece. It's Royal Wessex, which, um, you know, it's a great piece. And then, because this was in the box, it almost made me believe that this, there's not a lid to it, but this little sugar bowl, might be Blue Willow as well. I can't find an exact match, but um, if you know, let me know. I love getting educated and hearing information from you all. So, but yeah, because this plate was Blue Willow, I'm kind of thinking this was, it's um, all it says on the bottom is made in Japan. It's very thin, I mean, it just, has just such a different feel than like the, the plate. Um, I did pick up these, or I didn't pick these up. These were in the lot. This, this, this was in one box. And I don't wanna tell you <laughs> how much I spent because you might go researching this auction and I'm not gonna have like a good source of, of um, inventory, but I feel like I should share all of this like from the the flower frog, those two plates, the sugar dish, and the next couple pieces, I spent $5. So, um, Japanese little tea set. There is one. This has a little chip, just a tiny chip. And I was almost thinking, because it's so small, but it's rough. Oh, my hands are dirty. I've been out doing projects. Um, I was almost thinking, like, if I could take, like, maybe an emery board and just smooth this down a little bit. But you know, if you don't use it as a Japanese or as a as tea or as a shot glass, you know, they'd be pretty little vase, be pretty with your Q-tips, um, bobby pins, you know, this these would be great in a bathroom mix and matched. So a couple other items is this. Let me pick this up carefully. Um, it's an Inesco. It's a miniature pitcher and it's little dish that would go underneath it. So it's got a little, you know, like almost delt wear paint on it, but it is a Nesco. It's a little um, vintage. And then <laughs> I don't usually pick this up, but I didn't have a choice because it's in the lot, but a tiny little bell. Um, again, I, this might be a Nesco. Um, the weird thing about this is like, look at all the rust in the inside and around the edge, it's super rough, almost like there's a glue or something in there. So I might soak it and see if I can get that off. Um, but yeah, isn't that a cute little, cute little bell? And then the last item I'm gonna show you, this is beautiful. Um, Royal Staffordshire, I think it's Arthur Wilson. Look at this amazing tea set. Look at the inside. This is just beautiful. It's like blue and gold. I love how deep the saucer is, even the stamp, even the stamp is beautiful. It'd be great if like, I, I might look at this. Um, it'd be great if there was like artwork with all the different like cool stamps. Cause you know, sometimes the stamps themselves are a work of art. So let me do a quick check. That's it. That was um, everything from this haul. Sorry if I seemed really uh, 
flighty and out there and talking fast. Like I said, I just have so much going on. I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, so anyway, <laughs> thanks so much. If you're still here, thanks so much for hanging in with uh, me this time. And until next time, thanks so much. Bye.